What is going on everybody, this is Jay here from Maji and Jade. Today we're going to be checking out something that really blew my mind in terms of quality versus price. And this is called the Artly LCD 1080p Native Resolution Projector. And let me tell you guys, this thing is absolutely incredible. The last time I saw a quality like this on a projector, it was about $700 or more. I have reviewed name brands like LG, I have done Epson's before, and I have done many, many projectors out there, but this by far is the best for the price, guys. Only $249. It comes with 4,000 lumens, it has a contrast ratio 5,000 to 1, and also it has the ability to project up to 300 inches. Yes, and the quality is just unreal, the colors, everything is amazing about this projector. I would say the only little cons is the fact that it is a big projector, but other than that, I think it's absolutely amazing, and you're going to be seeing why here in just a second. Now keep in mind this is a non-smart projector, but for that I will be connecting my Amazon Fire Stick so that way we can do some testings later on. So getting a look here at the box, very simplistic, nothing much going on here. We got basically the same thing here on the back side of the box. So let's go ahead and take it out and see exactly what comes with it. So I received this about a week ago, I've been testing it to watch uh, some sports. So here on top you have a little box that contains all the accessories. Let's go ahead and check it out here real quick. So inside of this box we have the power cord. Next we have the HDMI cable. We find the remote. It requires two AAA batteries. I already installed them. So here we have the remote. And on the front here we have the power key, the mute key, the pause and play the source, menu, we have the volumes uh, up and down, as well as the selector with the OK button. We have the rewind and forward button here, the back button and the skip buttons. So again, very easy to follow remote as you guys can appreciate right there, so very cool. Uh, next we have here are some booklets, it looks like some manuals and some warranty cards as well. We got the instruction manuals. and. Finally, we have here the AV cable, okay, very cool, and that's all we get for the accessory box. And now that we saw the accessories that come here with the Artly 1080p projector, here we have the actual unit itself, and as I explained before, it is not a tiny unit, but it has a lot of power, I can tell you that already. On the front here, we have the lens with a little lens cover, as you can tell, we have the IR sensor right here. And it comes with a secondary IR sensor. I'll be showing you exactly where it is and why does it have two. On top here, we have the focus wheel with a keystone correction. And on the back side of the unit, on top, you have the OK. We have the play, the source, the menu, and the power button. We have here the volume rockers, and these are selectors. So on the back side here, we have the brand, Artly, once again right there. We have the VGA port, and this is the secondary IR sensor. And the reason we have two is because this projector can be used for professional purposes or for home theater purposes. So let's say you are doing a presentation, most likely you'll be facing the front side of the projector and the remote will have better signal for you. And if you're watching a movie, well, you're gonna be most likely facing the back side of the projector. And that's why we have another sensor right here. Very nice. So then we have here the USB ports. One of them is for, uh, let's say, uh, flash drives, memories, and whatnot. And the other one is for power. We have here two HDMI ports with the power port right here and the loudspeaker. And let me tell you, this loudspeaker is absolutely incredible and one of the best that I've seen on any projector regardless of the brand. Yes, regardless of the brand, this is definitely the best speaker hands down. And we're gonna be testing it here in just a second. Then on the side of the unit, we have the standard SD card slot. We have the AVN, the headphone jack, and the vents here for cooling purposes. And the same thing we're gonna find here on the bottom side of the unit. We have some more vents here for cooling. And here we have the information. Actually, we do have a model number, which is the M18. Again, the brand right there, Artly. And we have the connection here so that we can mount it on the ceiling as well, which is really, really cool. But like I said, guys, the coolest part about this projector versus the competition is the fact that we have a true native 1080p quality, 4,000 lumens, 
and the colors and the quality looks absolutely amazing. So now that we know the physical aspects of the projector, let's go ahead and turn it on and look at the menu settings. Now that we have here the projector all set up and ready to go, I also have my Amazon Fire Stick connected to it. But this is what you guys will be greeted on once you turn on the unit. And right now I am projecting at about 75 inches. I also would like to apologize in case my camera goes out of focus for a minute or so. It's because, uh, again, it's really hard to do these kind of videos and not having your camera go out of focus. But anyways, guys, this thing is absolutely incredible. I am doing it right now at 75 inches and I did block my windows because of uh, let's say sunlight is coming in or you have a light bulb turned on at 75 inches it's going to blur a slightly a bit so again i am warning you guys that if you want to use it with sunlight coming in don't do more than 50 inches or 60 inches and you should be okay and the same thing goes with a light so anyways here we have some of the options we have the input source we have rgb hdmi 1 hdmi 2 avn we also have uh, usb sd and that's pretty much it. If you click here on menu, we have the basic ones, like for picture, okay? We have sound, time, and options for restoration uh, of the software or even software updates. And we have a few others right here, very easy to follow. And again, it's very basic for many projectors out there. So if we exit out of here, we go into the inputs, we go on HDMI 2. Here we're gonna find my Amazon Fire Stick right now. So these are all my applications and whatnot. Of course, I'm going to try to show you guys the best way possible uh, the audio quality. And of course, you are seeing right now here the projection quality. Like I said before, guys, I hope that this thing is doing a good job, uh, you know, showing you the details of the actual picture here. I mean, it's absolutely insane. I am really close to the uh, projection right now and you can barely see any pixels. I mean, it's not blur on any corner. Everything is really nice and I would say well balanced all the way around. So let's go ahead and enter here YouTube for some video demonstration. So here we have a quick video sample that I found on YouTube at 1080p quality and it is a very colorful one as well as so you can appreciate and just look at the color details, look at the focus, Look at the blacks. I mean, this thing is absolutely stunning when it comes to projection quality. I never thought that it was going to be possible, at least at this price range, 249. It is definitely one of the best out there. You can see all the details, all the colors. And of course, we haven't gotten to the audio yet, but we're gonna get to that in just a second here. I think that for the audio, we are definitely going to do a video of my own. That way you guys can at least hear what comes out of the speaker one of the best speakers also that i've seen on a budget projector just look at those colors absolutely amazing again i am projecting at 75 inches right now there is a little bit of light coming through the window still and it's not affecting the colors or the projection quality whatsoever so now here in a second we're going to be doing the audio quality as I said before, but just look at those details. I mean, absolutely insane. And this is going to be for pretty much anything that you connect to it, as long as it is supporting 1080p. And now this is what the projection quality will look like in the event that you guys have a light turned on inside of the room where you are projecting or there is sunlight coming through the window. Depending on the size that you are projecting also, is how the colors will look right now here they have not been affected very much the colors still look great even though they have been washed out slightly a bit but it's hard to notice even through the camera you have to be here in person in order to tell the difference but the ideal scenario would be to have a room that is completely dark out Alrighty guys, so I think that now we saw enough of the video projection quality of the projector itself. So for the sound quality, we're going to be using one of my own videos due to copyright purposes. I'll be playing the AirPods 2 clone video that I performed about a week ago. So let's get started.
What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today super excited or I would say mind blown by these replicas. These are the AirPods 2 clones and they've been sitting around for about a week and a half and that's kind of sad because I underestimated them. I thought that they were just going to be some cheap knockoffs and that well it was just going to pair you know via Bluetooth and whatnot but these actually have the W1 chip. That means that it uses the same technology as the original AirPods where every time you open the case your phone will detect it automatically and you can pair and it'll tell you the battery uh, percentage for the AirPods and the actual case which is something that I never seen before guys. As a matter of fact I've been doing reviews for a lot of clones out there for a very long time and this is the first time that I see they make something software wise so well I mean compatible with the iPhone so basically they hacked this thing and made it work toward the iPhone and now that we witness the projection quality as well as the audio quality on this unit you have absolutely no excuse to say Jay this is simply too much money for me or the quality is not that great this thing is the perfect combination you are getting 4,000 lumens 300 inches projection capability a 5,000 to 1 contrast ratio with a perfect keystone correction great focus wheel everything is great about this unit including the loudspeaker that we just witnessed also keep in mind that it comes with two IR sensors in case you need to use it for presentations for professional purposes or if you just want it for home theater purposes it will also work great the only little downside is the size this is a pretty big projector but keep in mind guys that you are getting so much for so little that I really cannot complain about the size right here. This is the perfect great quality projector that I've been looking for I would say in years. Yes there are great projectors out there name branded but they will cost you anywhere between 600 all the way up to a thousand or even more depending on what you're looking for and this thing competes quite well even with the name brands. With that being said, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this unit right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and share if you haven't done so. Also subscribe guys, it helps me quite a bunch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one.